What is up guys? Bob Gar here and we're playing some mono green stompy in standard. So this is basically just mono green electrostatic pummeler, uh, mostly energy aggro. It has some non-energy aggro kind of cards, but it's it's primarily looks very similar to that style of deck, just without the red. I'll keep. We're using uh, the fight cartouche, the, the green cartouche as our kind of removal spell. We only run a couple of them, but when we get them, they're pretty effective. I actually, as the more I play these games, the more I'm considering upping the number to like, I think I'm at two right now, and it might very well make sense to play three. Um, how aggressive do I want to be? I guess I don't need to attune here, huh? I don't have a two drop anyway. Might as well just uh, cast a Prowler, get him for damage while I can. He's a blue deck. Uh oh. Oh, he played it. He did play a second blue. Sure. Um, first things first, I'll attack and see what he does. I have Blossoming Defense if I need to, to pump him or whatever. Not that I think there's much or too many he could do. He very well might censor me here if I play Servant, but I, I think I'm just going to jam Servant. I think that's fine. If he censors it, that's I'm okay with that. It's a censor, yeah. Yeah, that's fine. Nope, no. No reason to pay that. Can't pay it, but I also don't care that much. Uh, I mean, I guess it's a little bit of a crappy thing just because... Well, let's try a tune. Works. Alright, well, let's uh, swing here and then play land for turn and then pass. I guess it does slow me down a little bit. Um, I mean, well, it doesn't really slow me down any... Well, does it slow me down at all? I guess I could have gone land 3, play wish card, but then he would have just censored that, so it doesn't wouldn't have really affected much. Yeah, let's pass. 16. Brings in a tap land. Land. I think I'll play around sensor here. I don't think I really need Bristling Hydra. I think Wishkar is just fine. Does he have the hard counter? He has Disallow. Alright, well, Disallow works. Let's get on in there. I have, a bad, I have a bad feeling this game, at the very least, we're just going to be too slow. Uh, I'm assuming he has, like, Engulf the Shore or something. So we definitely don't want to do it until after we attack. Yeah, but we don't want to play any other guys until after we attack. That is, attack. Um, Engulf the Shore is a pretty big game against us. It makes it really hard to have... Pummeler do much of anything, but speaking of Pummeler, I think I'm going to play him here. Plays around Sensor and also... Okay... Sure, yes. Is he double censoring it? Or is he just doing that to make sure I can't do it? Oh, he, no, he just, he's literally drawn three of his sensors so far. That's... If you want to double censor it, I think I'm okay with that. I think you got, you got it. You got me. Um, well, it's good that I didn't play Bristling Hydra. He would have only had to use one of his senses for that. Uh, sure. Is she going to kill my guy? Because if not, I'm going to attack him in the face. She does. She minus this four to kill my guy. All right. Well, that's annoying. Uh, on the bright side, I can play down Bristling Hydra and protect him. So, not the worst. He can make himself hexproof, and he's, if he has a removal spell in addition to that, um, I can blossoming defense him. But we'll, we'll see what I need to do. Pluses to look at the top card and deal two damage. Okay, it's a land. Oh, scatter the lands which you can't cast. Got it. He doesn't do anything else. Um, I, I do think I attack uh, Chandra here. Under Torch of Defiance. Let's just get her off the board. I don't really want to deal with her anymore. Golf. Oh, Wandering Fumeral. Turn off Auto Yield. Sure, that's fine. Okay, go to the block. Sure. Uh, well, I want to block. I mean, 
I'm fine with you blocking like this. You probably want to flip him. Okay. You got it. Seems pretty good. Pass turn. I guess that makes sense now that he didn't play anything. I didn't even think about the fact that he would activate a fumarole and block. Uh, gets to play a thing in the ice. I guess he can block again and keep me from killing Chandra again if he wants to. Or he can do whatever this is. Sure. Seems fine. Seems pretty good. I'll play down Servant of the Conduit just so I could double pump him without him being able to do anything about it. Chandra, attack. Um, do I pump twice or do I rely on Blossoming Defense? Well, the thing about pumping twice is then he's just that big permanently, so I guess I'll do that. I don't really see a reason not to. 5-4... Uh, six five sure. Pass turn. And if I really needed to give him hex poop again too from himself, I don't know why I would need to activate his ability specifically. I could uh, high spire infusion to give myself enough energy to do it. Well, it's pretty good, I guess. Does he want to play that? Nope. Decides not to play it. Just pass his turn again. Yeah, let's go to attacks. Attack Chandra, attack your face. Uh, he just doesn't do anything? Alright. Goes to 10. Sure. Something at end of turn? Nothing. Why did he not at least cast his spell last turn? I'm slightly confused. I mean, I guess I can probably just kill him here unless he has Gulf to Shore. Back of both. So that's eight right now. Um, I think that it's low enough that if I do this, I'm not going to feel too bad. He has oh he has a counter spell he has sh sure now I don't think he has enough to do anything though so I'm at six seven eight nine ten all right no reason to do anything else I don't totally understand his deck but we won whatever his deck is he didn't show me engulf the shores which is what I was mostly scared of here. Although some of these cards are quite good. Man, what is he trying to do? I don't, I mean, he has some cyclers. I didn't see a ton of cyclers for Curator of Mysteries, but maybe he's a cycle deck? Some kind of red, blue, kill me deck. Um, I mean, he didn't have a ton of creatures, but the trample is pretty relevant, so I don't know if I want to get rid of the cartouches. Is there anything that felt bad? I was worried about Pummeler, but mostly I was worried about Pummeler because I was worried about Engulf the Shore. And he does have red, so he doesn't get that high on islands, so engulfing is actually kind of hard. In fact, I might be able to just pump Pummeler outside of Engulf range now that I think about it. Yeah, maybe this is just fine. I don't I don't know what he could actually do. Engulf Rampager. I, I think we're just going to run it back. He didn't show me anything that was so strong that I feel like I need to switch up my, my game plan here. Uh, this is a keep. A little light on some things, but doesn't feel bad enough to not keep for sure. A little, little land heavy more than anything. Land heavy and creature heavy. Not a lot of spells other than a tomb, which is what I play first, obviously. Oh, there's a spell. That one's not, not a bad one either. Tune. I guess you could censor next turn, which would be pretty annoying. Do I just play into censor? I think I play into censor. At least with the long tusk cub. Maybe with maybe with more. 
the thing is, there's a 50-50 chance that he actually has a sensor approximately, so... And if he doesn't have a sensor, he probably just has nothing to deal with it, so it's like... I can either do nothing, or I can get the sensor out of his hand. And then if he's trading his sensor for a long tusk cub, that's a 2-2 for a 2-2. It's not really a super advantageous trade for him, necessarily. Other than the fact that he probably plays more expensive things than me. Yikes, more land is bad. Uh, I'm gonna try it. Nope, no sensor. Well, if he didn't have a sensor last turn, he probably doesn't have a sensor next turn either. Although he very well might have like a disallow or something. I think I actually Rishkar. I think Rishkar is maybe less valuable than Pummeler. And it also gives me more immediate value. Oof, I am super flooded. I, well, I usually wouldn't do this pre-combat, but I want to get the Vishkar uh, plus one plus one counter on. Okay. I'll swing for three. Make him a four four, no blocks. Yeah, let's make him a four four. And kill him in response or something. He gives up the match. All right. Uh, well, I don't know what was going on with our opponent that second game. I feel like the first game they had a whole lot of really good cards that were pressuring us pretty well, and then that second game they must have just drawn nothing. Uh, well, I mean, sweet, we won. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Hey guys, Bobgar here. I just really wanted to quickly say, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. If you enjoy my content in general and would like to see more of it, subscribe. I'll be coming out with more content in the future. And please leave me comments and let me know what I'm doing right, what I'm doing wrong, both in terms of production and in terms of my play and my deck building and all that. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it, and I will see you guys next time.